So you guys have got a great campaign. Think before you tweet. Something that you put out there on social media is there forever and can impact other human beings. Absolutely. I think that's the right message. And that's another important message that young people need to understand, that they are in control of what they tweet. And everything that they put out on the Twitter platform is public. It's there for everyone to see. You also need to think about the long-term implications of putting these tweets out there or putting any information on the Internet. Do you want the university admissions officer to see it, your future employer? These, These things can live on in perpetuity. I like to remember the different tools and strategies as in terms of BRIM. That means blocking, reporting, ignoring, and muting. Blocking is the most definitive step that you can take. They cannot follow you anymore, and you're not mm-hmm. following them anymore, but they know that you've actually cut them off. Yeah. Reporting is the most important thing to remember. If you don't report it, we can't address the issue. We can't take down the con- yeah. the content. We can't um, take the abuser off the network. Don't give them that um, satisfaction that they've bothered you. Yeah. And you can also mute, which is a subtler way to, to keep the damaging content from coming into your feed. Okay. So you're muting them. So you're protecting yourself from seeing all that toxic content but they don't necessarily know. And one of the other things that we've done is we've built a dashboard so that you can keep track of who you've muted and who you've blocked. And if you happen to um, encounter a high, in, a high level of um, negative interna- interactions, you can export and import um, block oh, lists. Wow. We've just um, overhauled our safety center, twitter.safety.com. Cool. There is specifically content for teens in language they can understand. And one of the challenges I think we have is that teens are no more technologically proficient than, than we parents. Yes. <laughs> Yet they don't have the maturity and judgment to be able to deal with some of these, um, these issues that are happening. Um, you know, bullying online feels as bad as bullying in person. And often it's an, ex- an extension of what's happening in the real world. And parents have to remember that they do need to have the discussions and make it a safe discussion. Kids don't tell adults because they think that their technology is going to be taken away from them. Yeah. So you need to give them a, a safe place to confide in you um, and to be sp- supportive. Help them use the tools. Help them with reporting. Mm. Talk them through when to block, ignore, or mute.